What's going on everybody? My name is Adam Castro and welcome to Sanctify Studios where I like to create and examine content with the sanctifying and biblical view. I've been focusing heavily on reacting to Christian music lately because I really want to highlight those artists who are being intentional about creating sanctifying and biblical content. So if that's something that you're interested in, then you can do me a huge favor. You can leave this video a thumbs up. You can hit the subscribe button. You can hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when new videos arrive. And go ahead and leave in the comments down below what do you want to see on on this channel i've been reacting to different christian metal bands i've been reacting to different christian rock bands a little bit of hip-hop here and there podcast episodes with some different christian artists and i've actually got a few live interviews that i did from a concert in barstow california that was with matt sasano magdalene rose and seventh day slumber so go ahead and check those out when you get a chance but for today i'm really excited to be showcasing a california local band a face down records band called cultist and they've got a new song called preacher three that's from a upcoming album and this band's been making a lot of noise uh in the christian metal community and i'm not just talking about the christian metal hardcore kind of noise but this band has been like the people's choice for them having their breakout year and their breakout uh release and so i know that might be a lot of pressure for you guys but I think you guys have been delivering and uh, your sound has just been getting better and better. And I am super excited to check this song out. So without further ado, here is Preacher 3 performed by Cultist. Ooh, here we go. I love it. Moving. Going crazy. Woo. <laughs> Love it. Ooh, I really love what's going on in the background there, too. So cool. You want to lift something heavy and throw it. Man. feel like I just got hit by like 10 cars each one of them a different part of this song just like the build up and then boom you just get hit with it man this song was intense aggressive brutal the guitars were amazing super chuggalicious um the drum I was really impressed with the drums the drums in this song 
uh, not just the the playing, but the mix itself as well. Like you could really hear each and every individual uh, drum that was being played, and it, it just added so much to the song. And then the tasteful cymbals that were thrown in uh, just really, really added a lot. Obviously, I, I, I'm a sucker for some really cool synths and effects thrown into a song, and that there was a lot of that here in this song, so that was super, super cool. But, oh, come on. Let's just talk about those screams, man. Brutality through this whole song where you're just like, oh, it can't get any more brutal. And then, boom, you're hit with something else and a lower scream or a higher scream. And just, oh, man, it's crazy, crazy, crazy. This song was insane. I love it, you guys. Great, great job. Uh, it does look like we've got some lyrics down here. So let's go ahead and check these out. And uh, I, this song sounds angry. I just got to say that right off the bat. This song sounds angry. So I would not be surprised if we've got some angry lyrics here in this song. All right, let's check it out. American God, American God. Turn a profit no matter the cost. American God, American God. Turn away the profit deceive the lost we got some wordplay there i love it i love it turn a profit turn away the profit so the american god the way of the american the american way is to turn a profit make money no matter the cost no matter what we're sacrificing right our morality our lives what matters most no matter what the cost is we turn a profit and we turn away the prophet. We turn away the one who's telling us the truth. We turn away the one who's feeding us uh, truth, the way that we're supposed to be living, uh, the the reality, what matters most. We turn away that person, uh, and we we focus only on the prophet, and we deceive the lost. On the pulpit of a TV screen, vicious wolves, in the skin of sheep. False teachers, fake preachers, condemn yourself with the words you speak. Shots fired, man. Shots fired. Yeah, this is this is calling out the TV preachers who are who. You know, I grew up with uh, I grew up with watching a few good TV preachers. You know, before we had the live stream, before we had uh 2020 when everything was was put on youtube and put on websites and everything um there were a few preachers who would be on the television who were actually good but as you dive more into the you know realm of televangelists and and preachers who are on the tv you realize that a lot of them ask for money a lot of them are asking for you to plant a seed of a thousand dollars plant a seed of of a of ten thousand dollars, plant a seed of whatever hundreds of dollars that you're you're giving to them, and they're saying that God's going to bless you uh, through you giving them money, and uh, it's it's just a horrible horrible play of deception, and I love that this song is calling it out on the pulpit of a TV screen. Vicious wolves in the skin of sheep. They're false teachers. They're fa they're fake preachers. And they condemn yourself. Uh, with, they can condemn themselves with the words that they speak. Christ-like in the public eye. Christ-like in the public eye. Satan in the lies you hide. Oof! There's Satan in the lies that you hide. There is violence in the house of God from the shepherds who are called to the flock. Violence in the house of God from the shepherds who are called to the flock. What will Christ do when you rape his sheep? Ooh, when he shows everyone the lies that you keep. What will Christ do? We already know what Christ is going to do. Looks like we're going to hear a little bit of that in this, this, this next part. The wrath of God and the jaws of hell. Best life now. Ooh, your best life now because it won't and well man this song is is preaching man this song is preaching you were supposed to show us christ blood money in the walls you hide oh this is calling out uh uh joel osteen right wasn't there uh wasn't there money in the walls over at joel osteen's church 
Uh, you were supposed to show us Christ. Blood money in the walls you hide. Sell a fake heaven to those in hell. Counterfeit Christ. You can't save yourself. You won't have wealth when there's nothing left. You won't flee the hands of death. American God, American God. Turn a profit no matter the cost. Turn away the profit to see the lost. False shepherd with a serpent's mouth. Arms wide open to the slaughterhouse. Counterfeit spirit, counterfeit lamb, counterfeit wealth for the lives you've damned. Man, 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 this is some intense lyrics here. Use the cure to spit your poison. No good seed in the words that you sow. Shelf his word, believe in voices. There's no Christ in the cross you show, only greed in the God you know. Self-deceived, you are rotting slow. There's no peace in hell below. Can I drop this mic? I'm just going to, no, I don't want to drop this mic, but that is a mic drop. You guys, man, this song is preaching here, calling out, uh, just calling out the false prophets and the false preachers and the people who are basically, um, who are basically deceiving the sheep that they're called to protect and that they're called to teach and they're called to lead. And they're leading them astray. They're leading them away from the truth. They're only using them. And I like that this this is saying right here, you, they use the cure to spit your poison. They're using people knowing that Christ is who they're supposed to follow and knowing that they might, they're supposed to listen to a preacher, right? They're supposed to listen to the Bible. They're supposed to uh, go to church and they're, they're, they're supposed to be, you know, um, working out their their uh, their salvation and their faith and learning more about God and everything. So they're using those things, right? But they're distorting it. They're distorting it and they're deceiving and they're lying and they're manipulating and they're doing it all for greed and they're doing it all for their own wealth and they're doing it all for the profit. And we've we've got we've got to call this out, guys. We've got to to make sure that we don't fall prey to these things. And we've got to help the people around us not to fall prey to these things too, because this is happening all over the place. You guys, this is happening all over the place. This is happening on the television. And this is even happening in local churches around you. How many times do you hear preachers who will guilt their con congregations and saying, you guys need to give more money to God. You guys need to give more money to God. You guys, and, and then they, they, you know, they don't really disclose how that money is being used. Um, they're not good stewards of it. They tell you, no, just trust me and my plans because obviously the preacher's plans are God's plans and they, they represent God in that way. And so they, they're gonna do it perfectly, right? Like, no, no, that's not how that any of that works. You're giving money to the church for God to use it, but you still have to be a good steward of that money. And that's why we have, you know, that's why we have these conversations around what, how churches use money. That's why we have committees. That's why we have uh, business meetings where the whole church is invited in knowing how the money is spent, where the whole church is uh, told how these things are done. There's transparency, there is unity, there is the understanding that we do not want to waste this money that all of you have sacrificed and given so that it can be used for the glory of God. And even though uh, it may be, you know, it may, even though it may not seem like a lot, it's a lot for someone to give even just a little bit of money per month to the church. It's a lot for someone to give, uh, to give consistently and to think that they're being uh, obedient to God by giving to the church or giving to whoever that they're giving to. And then for someone to just disregard it and, and use it for their own wealth, use it for their own profit, use it for their own benefit, or even to just disregard it and say, ah, well, you know, what, what's an extra expense here and there? You know, it's only this much money. It's only that much money. It really doesn't matter. Like, no, this is the church's stewardship. This is, this is, uh, something we're supposed to be good stewards of. Money is a touchy subject when it comes to the church, but we have to be able to talk about it and not abuse this tool that we have, um, like all these fake pastors and, and fake preachers are abusing. Um, and then as it, when it comes to like the truth of God's word, 
we have to be able to know what the truth is. We have to be able to dive into the word ourselves. We have to be able to uh, encourage each other. Don't ever take what someone says as truth unless you can compare it to the word of God yourself. And unless you can read it for yourself and say, I, I know that this is truly what God's word says. Uh, otherwise, you're only believing in a man, you're only believing in a person, and you're not actually believing in the word of God. And if you blindly put your trust in a man or you blindly put your trust in a person, you blindly even put your trust in a church. Honestly, if you blindly put your trust just in a church and there's no proof that they are good stewards of their authority or their responsibility or their stewardship of preaching the truth, if there's no proof of that, then you could very easily be led astray. You can very easily be believing in a lie. You could very easily be in this kind of a situation where you're just being manipulated by someone who's trying to use you for their own profit. And so don't fall into that, you guys. Don't fall into that. Don't be prey to that. Uh, you know, Seek the truth. Read your Bibles. And if you are a leader in a church, you know, if you're a leader in a church, don't be one of these preachers. Don't become one of these people who gives into their flesh and manipulates their congregations and their churches for their own profit, and manipulates uh, the idea that people are trying to obediently give money to God and give money to their churches out of obedience to Christ, out of, out of their willingness to want to, uh, to uh, be selfless for the sake of the church. Don't take advantage of that by having a greedy spirit and having a selfish spirit. Don't become one of these preachers. And if you are one of these preachers, man, just stop, man. Just change your ways. If you need to step down, then step down. But um, yeah, man, this stuff has to be called out more and more. Preacher 3, you guys, from Cultist. Uh, from, it looks like it's from their album called Slow Suicide. And I'm excited. This is brutality to the highest level, both musically and lyrically. And I am here for it. Uh, so guys, go and check out this song. Go uh, make sure that you're subscribed to their stuff. Go make sure you give them a follow on social medias. And um, and yeah, I'm excited. Let's let's all be ready for when the album comes out. Guys, if you enjoyed this uh, video, then go ahead and do me a huge favor. You can leave this video a thumbs up. You can go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when new videos like this one arrive. And go ahead and leave in the comments below, man. Today, let's focus on um, maybe... Let's let's just go ahead and, and focus on... on uh, what are some ways that we can keep accountability within the church so that this doesn't happen? What are some, some things that we can do to make sure that we don't allow our, our leadership of our churches to fall into this trap of becoming this way? What are some ways that we as believers don't become this way? What are some ways that we, have, we as believers um, don't fall into this trap ourselves and start giving our money to selfish, greedy, deceitful people? Um, let, let's talk a little bit about that. What are some ways that we can prevent that and keep, keep the church accountable? Um, other than obviously blasting this song out in the parking lot, right? Uh, <laughs> and go ahead and let us know what you thought of the song as well here in the comments below too. But yeah, let's, let's mention a few of those things. And guys, uh, one of the best ways that you can support this channel is by supporting my band classic disaster. Uh, we have got a, uh, we have got one song out right now called To The Ground. And so if you can go on Spotify, check it out. To The Ground by Classic Disaster. Put it in your workout playlist. Uh, put it in your heavy music playlist right next to Cultist. And, um, you know, we're excited to continue putting out new music. And that will be coming soon. And you will be able to hear a sneak peek of our song uh, right here in just a moment. But, uh, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Until next time, I will see you in that next video. Take care.